So here I have the brand new dinosaurs by Papo for the year 2018. So I'm sure you've got already people screaming like, no, the kids are Atlas is not a dinosaur, it's a flying reptile. I mean, small detail. But anyways, what's really cool about this is that you've got only one repaint, which is the Acrocanthosaurus. The others are brand new sculpts with really nice colors and details. So well, I will start with the Amargosaurus. This dinosaur is really nice. You've got some red color, which is quite rare for a Peppo, so very nice. And the white and the belly ends in stripes, just like the red color on the neck and the tail, so it's really beautiful. The crests are there, you even have some kind of bone spine just there. The head and the teeth are also quite detailed. So it's a very nice sauropod. So for all the collectors, this one is really nice. Then I was saying a repaint, and what's cool is that for once it's a great repaint because the first Acrocanthosaurus was purple and it was really ugly. This one has more stripes. So you've got white under the belly, a bit of orange and red on the neck and the back. And then you've got some kind of olive green with stripes. We still have the articulation on the mouth with many details. And well, it's really a beautiful repaint. I prefer it to the first version. But just beware, it's really spiky. So when you like display it or play with it, be careful because it can hurt. Then straight from the Lost World Jurassic Park, we've got the Comsoniatus. The size is not very accurate, but the figure is very small, so no big deal. The colors are really like in the film, orange on the belly, some kind of lime green on the figure and dark stripes on the body, so really cool. We still have an articulation with the mouse, the teeth are very well painted. The position is not too dynamic, so it's really cool. So well, for all of the Comsonatus fans out there, this is clearly a must-have. Then, we have the biggest dinosaur for the year 2018, it's the Therizinosaurus. So for once, the position is very dynamic, but it fits perfectly the dinosaur, so this is really great. And well, it's quite heavy as well, you can see it has a huge belly. And you've got a lot of sculpt uh, and details, like all the feathers, and even with the painting. So we've got orange and yellow under the belly with gray and then brown and as you can see you've got black and white feathers on the tail and each arm which is great and you even have a very nice blue on the neck and the head and there's one thing which is really awesome we have an articulation for the mouse and actually inside the teeth are very well painted so this is really really cool so as you can see, the position is really cool. I really love that dinosaur. One of the best, if not the best, from the line. Then we have the baby Spinosaurus. So the sculpt is great. The proportions are nice and fits well with the adult they made. The articulation of the mouse is also very cool. And well, the color is very basic, just like the adult Spinosaurus. I really wish they would repaint both of them, so not maybe in the Jurassic Park 3 brown color, but something more vivid, because this one is really too grayish to me. But well, the attention to details is very nice. Then we have something which is incredible, it's the flying reptile Quetzalco Atlas. It's a big dinosaur, and I will start with the position, like walking position, which is really amazing. So what's really cool is that you've got an orange color on the belly. The wings are very white, but all the veins are painted in blue purple, which is really cool. You've got a bit of black on the hands and feet. And then blue on the neck, orange and yellow on the crest and dark stripes. So really beautiful, you even have pink. And you've got an articulation just like on the Caprosuchus. And as you can see, even the tongue is highly detailed, so it's really a scary flying reptile and clearly a must-have. 
I really love it. It's my favorite, to be honest. And finally, straight from the Disney dinosaur movie, we've got an Iguanodon, which is really beautiful. Once again, the position is not too dynamic, so it's really cool. You have the articulation, but to be honest, even if it's well painted inside, it's not really worth it because you can barely open it. So as the colors are quite nice, you've got some yellow and orange and then some kind of gray blue with stripes on the back and the tail. So it's really a magnificent dinosaur from Papo. So well, if you have any questions or requests about the 2018 Dinosaurs by Papo, don't hesitate to contact me on my pages.